welcome to Vlogmas Day 1. Today I want to tackle some decorating projects at the house because I kind of just have a day to myself um, where I don't really have to be anywhere until this evening when I get to go to the high school and help costume um, high school kids for a Christmas carol. So that's super fun. But for the day, I kind of just have time to myself and there are some decorating projects I wanted to try, a couple things I wanted to finish up. Um, so hopefully I can get those things done today. The first thing on my to-do list is to finish painting my fireplace white. I had shiplap put in and once it got painted white, white, the, what was this color in the 80s? It was so popular, um, Swiss coffee. Um, was no longer acceptable. So I just have a little bit of painting left to do and then I can move that stocking into place and put the fireplace grate back and then that project will be done. So this is a quick and easy project. And can we just... place is done it looks pretty good I'm happy with it so um, moving on to the next project except I just heard the UPS truck pull up so I'm gonna run to the porch really quick and see if they dropped off any packages I want to get them off before the kids come through the door and now that they both drive themselves you never know when they're coming home so let me go get those yep got a couple packages from UPS from Black Friday shopping so um, I'm gonna get those opened and get them hidden away from the kids. Um, gosh, I wish I was organized enough to like wrap them and get them done, but we'll do wrapping another day. For my next at home project, I saw a really cute decorating um, thing. I don't know what else to call it on. Um, and it's a site that I follow. It's called I Dream of Homemaking. I will link it down below. And she hung these stars off a twig. She actually went out in her front yard and cut the twig down. Um, and then she hung these stars and put lights in them. It, it was so cute, I thought. So I'm like, I'm going to try and recreate this. So um, in reading all the comments, it turned out that she had gotten the stars at Cost Plus. And luckily, I have a Cost Plus just like 10 minutes down the road for me. So I got one star from there. And then I got a couple on Amazon. I will show you. Oh, but first... Um, the boxes that came, yes, they were mostly all gifts, but there was one thing for me. I got a pop socket <laughs> to slay all day. If you're going to decorate everything else in your life, might as well decorate yourself on. Um, okay. So I went to Cost Plus and I got this the cat has been chewing on the end. So we're going to ignore that. This star, which I think is so cute and beautiful, but there's little holes if you can see there's little holes cut out in um throughout the star so she put what they call puck lights inside and then they're remote controlled so she can turn them on with remote control and um, then the whole little star lights up so i'm going to try that and then i went on amazon and i got two of these stars which i thought were super cute i don't know if i'm going to be able to use both of them because they're both big and this one was really big I don't know if I have that much space. Um, then I went to Target in the dollar bin. I got a couple of these. They're just a cute glitter star. And then I got two packs of ornaments. There's three ornaments per pack. And this one has like a little bit of a gold hue. And then this one has a little bit more silver, less gold. So I'm sure I have more stars than what I need. But I want to just play around with it and see what I can come up with. This is what a puck light is. They came in a pack of three, you can get them from Lowe's. And then they have a remote. So if I, when you do the remote, you can turn them on and off from the remote. So once they're stuck inside, I'm gonna put it inside the star, then I'll be able to turn the lights on and off using a remote, which I think are super cool. But they also, if you put them in your closet, you don't have to have the remote, you can do it that way. I think, I think they're the neatest things ever. So, um, I will link everything that I bought down below and let me show you the space that I want to attempt to hang these at and then we'll see how it looks. This is the entryway to my house and this is where I want to hang the stars. Um, I've already installed a branch. I actually had this branch. It lights up and I used to use it in other places in my house but I used some of the 3M hooks. I went ahead and hung it from the ceiling and then I will hang the stars off that branch if they fit. I'm just concerned it's going to be a little too big. The stars are maybe too big. 
but we'll see. I just, I think it'd be really cute reflecting in the mirror with the lights and whatnot. So, um, I'm going to give it a try. So let's go. <laughs> product so far um, I'm still not entirely sure if the stars are too big for this space uh, I put batteries in the branch so you can see the branches lit up I put the third puck light in that one white star from Amazon I will have to go to Lowe's and buy more because the other star now I think needs one but if I turn off the light I mean, there's too much natural light coming through the window but I think it'll I think it'll be cute I just can't tell if it's too big so we'll see. Okay, off we go to the high school to costume Christmas Carol. I actually love doing the costuming. It gives you a chance to get to know the kids really well. Um, and all these high schoolers are just, they're so funny. They're so unique. They're so cute. I don't know. I don't find them super annoying. I find them super funny. And if you just give them a second and, and get to know them, they are the funniest little creatures on earth. And they're so smart. All of them. And um, I don't know. I kind of feel like I can keep with the times a little bit. Hanging out with those high schoolers. They breathe life into me. They keep me a little bit young. So I, I love going and helping out with costuming and stuff. Um, theater was not my thing growing up. I was super into sports. That was my thing, but both my kids chose theater and somehow I got suckered into it. And the fact that I can sew and do little crafty things uh, meant I just spent most of my time backstage. I think I spend more of my time backstage than sitting in a seat watching the show, which is actually totally fine by me. I can't say that I absolutely love um, sitting in a theater watching a show, usually, I don't know, most of the shows seem sad. Somebody's always dying or something tragic's always happening and I don't know, that's not my jam. The camera totally, <laughs> the camera totally slid away. Um, yeah, so being sad, watching tragedy, not my jam. When I go to the movies, if I'm gonna pay 15 bucks to go to a movie and then what, 25 by the time you've bought some popcorn and candy, I wanna laugh, I wanna feel good, I don't want to cry. Uh, I don't know. That's just me. I know a lot of people like a, a really moving something. I just don't. So um, I am more than happy to spend my time backstage. And um, <laughs> generally speaking, I'm asking one actor or the other, have you died yet? Are you, are you done? Are we, are we changing your clothes again? What are we doing? So um, I don't know. I love it. I love working with them. I love being backstage. It's the best. Okay. I made it to the high school. <laughs> I made it. It sounded like I drove so far. It's like a 10 minute drive. Anyways, we are coming up on the costume bin, which is where we hold all the costumes and we've got to dig out, load up the costume mistress, Miss Tana's car. So I'm going to go into the bin of doom and start finding costumes and get them loaded up. I don't know if you guys can see this, but um, we are building a brand new theater at this high school. It's like a $14 million theater. It's supposed to be done by July. That's like six months. I am so excited. Um, we'll be out of that costume bin and we'll have like a little warehouse area where we keep all of our costumes. It's gonna be amazing. There goes, there goes costumes. I'm gonna follow them. The building that she's driving to right now is our existing theater. It's tiny. Um, it's gonna be so much better. We also got a new football stadium, which is really cool. Okay, let's go. Let's go get
blossoming. I had fun. Um, and now I've parked myself on the couch. I have one more thing I gotta get done. Um, I have to take an ethics course. Um, I'm a real estate agent in the state of California. And every couple of years you are required to take an ethics course, which I actually think is a good thing. Um, but it'll kind of sneak up on you sometimes. So I've got to get this done before the end of the year. So I'm going to do it now. Um, I kind of wish other professions had to take ethics courses sometimes, <laughs> like maybe car salesmen. I don't know. Maybe they do. Anyways, um, I'm going to get this done. And so I'm going to end day one of Vlogmas here. And I will see you tomorrow for day two.